Morning guys. All right, so in the next few videos, we're going to be covering technical topics. Now, why am I talking to you guys about that? Well, I'm a test pilot for the Nirvana Systems Company located in Czech Republic, but I'm also the custodian for the importer rights in North America and Africa, and I run the dedicated importer ship here in Africa as well. So I do interact with a lot of customers located in America, and it's a big place. You guys are spread all over the show, and you don't necessarily have a dealer close by. We're trying to change that. We're trying to create more schools and uh, create more uh, dealerships that will be closer to your areas, maybe. Um, but right now, we have Austin Paramoto located in Austin, Texas, and these guys have been phenomenal when it comes to uh, dealing with the customers and their queries. But, you know, the realities are what they are. It's a very big country and it's taking us time to get to everybody. Uh, and we are going to use the Nevada North America channel to start communicating with those customers that are in uh, outlying areas and they don't have a dealer close by to them. And the visual way of showing how to deal with issues is sometimes just the best way to get the info out. All right, so um, I've had a few phone calls. Um, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, Africa time. So if I do sound a bit blurry, just remember that I might be in Africa, I might be in the USA, and but I'll still answer your call as best as I can, give you guys some technical advice. Um, and uh, yeah, whether you're from Arizona or from New York, uh, doesn't matter. Mexico, Canada, had calls from all over the place. Uh, it's our job to make sure that you guys are happy. It's one of the only brands We'll have this kind of relationship where you can say, listen, I have this issue. I don't like low hang points. What can we do about it? Ta-da! You know, you guys complained that you didn't like the low hang points and we created the high hang points. That is direct customer input. Um, and um, this is also what these videos are gonna be about. So I'm gonna zoom in on the first topic, which would be uh, the setting up the carabiners into the high hang point straps. And then uh, we'll move on to the next topic. All right, so this is what we have. Um, I saw a couple of pictures of customers sending me uh, how they set this up, and basically what they've done um, has been to the to this extent. Uh, actually, it's been done like this by the previous importer, and they receive their machines this way, and they think it's the right way. It's not because these things shouldn't be moving around inside the carabiner; they should be tied in a knot. Okay, so I'm showing you the right technique, the right knot. Okay, this needs to go, the top strap needs to be a figure of eight. So the best way, take the bottom strap, goes through, you make a little figure of eight, open it up, depends on how you like to slide your carabiner in, closes up. Okay, see, can't move around, it moves together and that's the way you want it. You don't want material to keep on rubbing back and forth onto the metal. So that is the right way of setting up the carabiner. I'm not gonna delve into the rest. I'm not going to delve into the rest of setting up the high hang points uh, on the uh, the low hang point uh, F-Lite. I think if those challenges arise and the, the questions start coming in and people need advice, that's when I'll address those issues. But I do, I am aware of the fact that when these guys put these holes in on the top of the carbon fiber and put these new shoulder straps in, it's a bit of a technical schlep, but there is a manual uh, for them to figure out how to do that. And if they really do struggle and there's something that's wrong, then they can send us that uh, that feedback and I will make a video um, on the technical side of how to best help you solve that. All right, the next topic I'm going to be covering will be the removal of the silencer box, which is on the standard F200. I'm going to be doing that on an Instinct 230 because then it covers both machines. It's basically the same system. Um, and then if there's any other technical questions, guys, remember if you subscribe to the channel, uh, you'll get updates on these technical stuff that we put out and also uh, we'd be able to help you as frequently as you send in those inquiries. All right, talk to you guys soon.